Carl. A week of change at Doncaster Rugby League, probably one of the toughest weeks of your professional life. Oh, yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, going to see Paul and, and you know, me and Paul have spent hours deliberating what, you know, if we've done things right. And uh, I went to see him on Monday and same things. We talked again and, and he thought there was it was time maybe he stood aside. Um, real hard, hard conversation we had, but um, he's an honest fella and, you know, the, the sort of bloke he is is... Is a testament to him and his family because he's, um, you know, he, he wishes all the all the lads well. He wishes the club well, and uh, you know, it was just it, it was fantastic. And you know, we we get a lot of flack, and all of a sudden the dual reg has become an issue. Um, if I'm honest about it, you know, when we won the league and we finished fourth in the league, there was nobody rang up and said thanks to Hull or Wakefield regarding the dual reg. It was no problem, the dual reg was no problem. The minute we're in a, in a little bit of a hole, all of a sudden the dual reg is, is the problem. You know, the dual reg is, is okay for the club. Um, so that's an excuse. I think that's an excuse because, you know, like I says, no one moaned about it when we, we did okay. And without it, we wouldn't have done won the league and I don't think we would have finished fourth last year. Let's get that straight. Yep. The signings. People question the signings. Um, again, me and Paul spoke, and and you know he's he's leaving. He could have come up with excuses as well. I never got this money, and I never got that money, and we could have had a bigger budget. He didn't. He didn't say that. Um, what he said was, would we do the same thing and make the same signings if we were starting again today? And we said, yeah, we probably would. So that that that's it. You know, we can all look and blame whatever we want and. Whatever for whatever reason, it's just not happened, um, and that's sport, and and ultimately that's lost us a very very good coach, um, who I think's got a f huge future in the game. But the 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 positive side out of that, I haven't lost a friend, um, you know. So he's been good. He's he's phoned to say, you know, how are you? He's, he's ringing me to say, how am I? You know, mm -hmm. are, are you all right? I'm just ringing to make sure you're all right. It's, it's not me who's gone from the club. Mm -hmm. It's Paul. So. You know, that's why I say he's a he's a very honourable man and, and you know, he's he's got a massive future. So on that score I know he'll bounce back and, and he'll be better for it and we'll all go on and, and see. We'll only know whether it was the right decision at the at the end of the season. So we uh, you know that that's where we are with him. That's that's probably him ringing me now to see if I'm alright, you see? <laughs> no, and then um so last night I had to go and address the players and it was a, it was difficult because, you know, nobody wanted to say anything negative towards Paul mm. and Chris Spur for that reason. You know, let's not forget Chris has been here five years and and done a good job and you know probably played. I, I know I've known Chris. I played at the Featherstone with Chris when he was a young fella, and I tell you, I've watched him a lot and he probably played had his best couple of years here for the Don. So. The two of them have been massive for the club. You know, it's not just all about Paul here. Chris has gone as well, and so so nobody at the at the training session last night wanted to say anything, you know, detrimental to the both of them. And I had to watch what I was saying because I didn't want to say anything to to undermine Paul as well. Um, so we just said it how it was, and and I spoke to. To four of the senior players, and, and and we've decided what we're going to do this week, and and we went out to train, and and we just got in, got on with it. What was that like then? Getting your hands dirty? Oh, listen, no, uh, Andrew Vincent and uh, Pete Bell took took the majority of the session, and you know I just I just overseen what they were doing, and I just spoke to a couple of the players while they were doing the session, and um, so we'll we'll get through it. Um, no, no fancy Dan. No game plans. You know that. Well, the, sorry, there will be a game plan, but no fancy game plans. We're not going to do any video on Hunslet. Um, years ago, when you played rugby league, there was no videos, and all you had to do was make sure that you ran harder than the man in front of you, make sure you tackled the bloke in front of you, and um, and hold on to the ball. So that's what we're going to do. We'll 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 go hard, and um, and we'll see where it takes us. And you know, is that something that you? Therefore, I saying was perhaps missing 
particularly on Sunday against Workington? Because, I mean, in the end, of the, there was a game on Sunday. Oh, listen, um, I don't know. I don't know, but but what I'm saying is I'm, I'm no supersonic coach. Or, you know, Paul Cook is a coach, and, you know, this video analysis and all that, The it's it's far advanced from my days, but we're in a situation where needs must, so we'll, we'll try and strip it back and go right back to basics of it running hard, tackling hard and and kicking downfield and then see where we go from there but you know the players will be under them instructions to to have a good go um, and just give everything they've got you know a bit of pride and a bit of passion in the shirt um, give everything Doncaster public all they ask of you is to give everything yeah. and I'm sure no matter what the result is as long as they they go out and give their absolute maximum then we can all be happy and come away happy, and and I believe if these boys do that, then they'll they'll be really happy. Last season, the ambition was to make the top eight. The Dons exceeded that and finished fourth. This season, likewise, make the top eight, and at the moment they're twelfth. Was there any time we thought you know this has evened itself out a bit? Was there any chance of Paul extending his stay? Oh, listen, mate. We all we all would love for him to be here for years because. Uh, He's going to be a real good coach. Um, we've always said that. I've always said that. The club have said that. But he knows it's a results-driven business, and um, you know it was a very, very mutual thing. And you know it wasn't us getting rid of him like that. It was, um, it was fifty-fifty. And you know, I have to, um, I have to look at the concern of it's putting on him. You know, and, and mm -hmm. worry about his health and. And things like that, and you know, um, the bigger picture is he, you know, he's a human being. So these sort of things can really weigh down on you heavily. And and um, Paul, I, I I believe, you know, I've seen a little bit of relief after we'd finished talking, and you know, he says, you know, he, he got me going because he says, hey, listen, bro, we've had three and a half great years, and he he appreciates everything the club's done for him. So. You know that's that's how we were finishing. I said, listen, stop it, because he was getting me all choked up, and and he's a good fella. He's a good man, and and he's a credit to his family. And he was there. Well, he was there when we needed him, and, and vice versa as well. Yeah, um, it, it, he's been. You know, nobody's going to say a bad word about him, and no one. I'll never let anyone around here say a bad word about him. And who's to know what's going to happen in the future? Eh? We nobody knows when our paths will cross again, and. You know, he, the way he's left this club, uh, I don't think he's, he's slammed the door closed on himself, that's for certain. You know, if if in the future, you know, the things arise and, and he's the right man to bring back, well, the club would, would, I think the club and the, the owners and everyone like that would, would look on him favourably by the, the way he's left the, the club and he, he's left on very, very good terms. He, w he wants nothing but best. He said he'd be watching the game on the weekend and he'll have everything crossed that we get what we want and we get the win and I think there'll be no one more happier than him. So we'll, we'll, we'll have a knock for him and um, I understand we've, you know, we're, we've sold over 200 Summer Bash tickets for Doncaster people to mm. go and support us. So the players will be under an obligation that they'll know that they're under an obligation to try and um, do the right thing by these people, you know, to... to come to the keep mode and buy these tickets and and go and support us in Blackpool when we haven't won, well, we owe them a performance and and, and it, it's not we owe them a win. Mm. We just owe to go out on the field and give them everything because I was absolutely blown away when I spoke to the ticket office um, and it says we're, we're over 200, I think it's 239 already. If we can get to that 300 mark by the weekend and uh, the foundation, Club Donny Foundation's just done a tremendous job there and, and, and I took my hat to Gareth Cook who's, who's uh, organised it all. How big will it be that this is a neutral venue but if you can turn it into a sea of blue and gold then uh, that'll help surely? Oh listen, 200 people from Donny that you'll think there's 15,000 there especially our supporters, you know, they're vocal and um, if, if the, I know the, the players will respond if they run out and, uh, and they hear the noise from our own fans, you know. Especially taking that many away with us uh, in the position we're in, it's, it's just 
very very well received and very you know we really appreciate that and finally apart from the northern rail cup a few years ago when that was at blackpool doncaster tended to do well on neutral soil oh listen I, 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 all, I'll, all i'll tell everyone now is the players on the weekend will be ready to play you look like you're ready to play now um, yeah the, the 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 players will be ready to play i i know that for a fact you know i they won't need, we won't need to open the changing room doors, but they'll just run straight through it. That's 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 what we want, and that, and that's uh, and that's what I hope we get. You know, um, our players will be ready to go Sunday. I tell you that now. That, that's a promise.